today I will show you Saudi Arabia how we calculate uh, QR code this is a specific uh, mandatory for each company that total and uh, each information show on the specific software so this is a specific demo so let I put all the information in this code so this code will be very helpful for you so this is the format of the QR code so I will now I will show you this software for Apple so e invoice QR code for KSA so uh, and this is the format the layout this is the government standard QR code for each retail point and each center so this is for uh, this is for you can check this one in Android mobile so this is the link and this is the format so this is the standard format for all KSA applications so this is the basic codes so all information is so let I show so this is the form and this is the main project uh, I create uh, uh, library so here all code that uh, very helpful for to generate a QR code and different functions defines this is the predefined this is third party uh, which uh, give us a code in C sharp so we can use this code and after that we can implement in our application so uh, this then we can print uh, QR code so this is the library so we can include with uh, to, uh, Q, uh, co line of code directly you can import this one you can set z.net so you can include a library after include a library then in the errors of in the project uh, will remove so this is must mandatory for you else you can download from my project this sample codes so you can use this that one so or directly you can use the those uh, DLLs as you can uh, import uh, with this one so this is the form so this is very helpful for you this is a sample code so you can use according to your requirement in your project so this is the background code how it so this is the text box functions so for, for restrictions and this is the on click generate you can use these uh, parameters to send to that uh, library after that you send to create a QR code then we show on that screen so we pass this one so uh, uh, in the end we will create okay let's we know we create the code in RDLC report how we can implement this one so that we create one project I will show you how we can use an RDLC same as if we, we want to use the same code in DevX reports we can also easily we can implement this one so later on I will add the new tutorial in my channel so you can also use this one so that I will show you the how we can use this one our RDLC report this is form and so first I create uh, a DB connection after that this is a Dell form so connection and from can fetch all the information from the database this is all functions defined this is SQL QR code that uh, class I include in my project this is the helper class that's easy for us to connect a database so this is a data set first I create a data set all the required field I define here 
according to the database tables so after that I click the report view we will show report uh, or DLC in the report view also these all functions I put in background to that helpful for far to show report and report viewer so this is the basic codes so after that we can see that the uh, report viewer I make one uh, uh, separate class so we pause this one then this class uh, call the report viewer and uh, we will open the uh, report so this is main form so here we fetch all the records after that here this is the load all school record after that we print a report so I call create a data set then I find the data set table name this one sales invoice after that we fetch record from the uh, database and all column I map with the data set so after that uh, oh, I create choose that QR code function so we pass the all the elements to QR code class project uh, object and after that we the result come then we, we convert to the QR code as a PNG so we said this all the code convert to the byte after that we convert byte to the PNG format so we assign them then we put in the data set so we now we call the uh, this one is the path of the uh, RDLC report so after that so data set name same as that defined in a data set this one in when we fetch it report so this is the we call um, the library that we call separate class then this class we call create object of the report viewer and we pass these all things and uh, we put a report and debug so we remove that one so after that this is the report sample when we check the uh, report viewer of properties so this one here okay already here is a data set here are the data set name this data set one we def define in a code this one same must be same else your report not show data so we check this property of the picture so here we define png same this png we define in qr code so here was the field so data set names okay so after that we run the project then we open this one and then we scan this qr code with that application which we installed in a, our mobile okay. so let open I have two records so click this one so that we saw the report so after this report so this one this report coming so all the information so here this is all test data so this is the QR code so you can scan with your application then it uh, shows same as according to the standard of the KSA. Okay, thank you.